Hello, and welcome to the latest breaking news. In this video, you will see important news on U.S. entertainment news and breaking. Please like this video and subscribe this channel. It ends with us. What Blake Lively, Justin Baldoni, and the cast have said about making the movie as few rumors swirl. It ends with us, starring Blake Lively, who also produced, and Justin Baldoni, who also directed and executive produced. Had a stellar opening at the box office, no doubt boosted in part by online speculation about a rift between the co-stars. It ends with us, an adaptation of Colleen Hoover's 2016 best-selling book about a love triangle between florist Lily Bloom, Lively, neurosurgeon Ryle, Baldoni, and her first boyfriend, Hapless, Brandon Sklenner, is a romantic drama tackling tricky subject matter, domestic abuse, with mixed takes on how that's depicted in the film. Audiences have liked it, giving it an A on Cinema Score and a 94% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes as of Monday afternoon. In its opening weekend, the Summy Pictures film made $50 million at the box office, playing at 3,611 venues in North America. It made another $30 million internationally. Domestically, it came in just behind Lively's husband Ryan Reynolds' film Deadpool and Wolverine, in which Lively also had a cameo. It Ends With Us had a sensational opening for a dramatic romance film, according to movie consulting firm franchise entertainment researcher David Gross. Pure romance is not a big performer at the box office, but occasionally the right story based on the right book comes along, and with a well-cast female lead the movie catches fire. Hoover also penned a best-selling sequel, 2022's It Starts With Us, and the assumption is there will be a big screen telling of that too. Around the film release, there was speculation of tension between Baldoni and Lively. It started with chatter on TikTok and X and was seemingly confirmed by a Hollywood Reporter story, talking about a creative fracture between the two stars. According to the outlet, Lively and Baldoni disagree during the post-production process about what the final film would look like. So Baldoni, the director, worked on his cut of the film, and Lively, the EP, commissioned her own version from a different editor, Shane Reed, an editor on Deadpool and Wolverine. It's unclear if any of Lively's cut was used in the final film. As the press for the film rolled out, that same fracture seemed obvious. Baldoni, the film's star and director, didn't participate in the film's press junket. When Lively gave interviews, she didn't mention him by name. She punted on one of Yahoo Entertainment's questions about working with him. Similarly, Jenny Slate, who plays Lily's best friend in the film, completely talked around a question about him on a red carpet. Further, internet sleuths noticed that Lively and Hoover both unfollowed Baldoni on Instagram, though he follows them. At the film's NYC premiere on August 6, Baldoni didn't pose with Lively, Slate, or the rest of the main cast. Inside the premiere, Lively and Hoover addressed the audience without him. According to Page Six, that's because they weren't even in the same theater watching the film. Baldoni was with his wife, Emily, who had a small role in the film, and friends in one theater at AMC Lincoln Square while Lively and her family and friends were in another. Later that week, Baldoni hosted a screening in Chicago on August 8, while Lively was in London promoting the movie. The same outlet reported, via multiple unidentified sources, that Baldoni made it an extremely difficult atmosphere behind the scenes for the entire cast. One claimed he made Lively feel uncomfortable about her postpartum body, having just given birth to her fourth child. After leaked set photos had fans calling out her frumpy costumes, she started using her own outfits for her character and borrowed some from her friend, model Gigi Hadid. However, Baldoni Insider said he would never intentionally make any of his actors feel unsupported. The cast has not directly addressed the perceived drama, so everything cast members have said or avoided saying in interviews is getting a deep analysis. Here are the highlights. Baldoni, while he didn't participate in the press tour, he has done several one-on-one -on -one interviews and some Lively's praises. I don't think people realize how involved she was in this movie, he told Access Hollywood. She's a producer on the film, from the beginning to the end. 
She was extremely involved. She really made the film better. There were many instances where I honestly just tried to get out of the way and let her take the lead. In conversation with Today, Aldo Me talked about the challenges of making a film, saying it's about navigating complex personalities and trying to get everybody on the same page with the same vision. 